We are here in the David Strawn Art Gallery, and it's the home of the Art Association of Jacksonville. The home was built between 1880 and 82 by Phoebe Gates Strawn. David lived here as well, but when Phoebe died, she had willed the building to an organization that was no longer in existence at her death. So David bought out the remaining heirs of his family and gifted it to the Art Association, which was the closest organization that was in her will. The building was given to the Art Association by the Strawn family. And I don't know a lot about the history, but the fact that it encourages people to get into an old building and to hear about the history of the town. And it's, it is a magnificent structure, even from the street, it's very uh, impressive. I'm originally from Los Angeles, so um, I felt like I had moved to Mars when I married and came back here. But I was absolutely floored. Uh, the first thing I saw in the paper was open to the public, an art show at the David Strawn Art Gallery, six to eight on a Saturday night. And I said to my husband, we, we've got to go to that. We have openings nine months a year, September through May. They are normally held on the first Saturday of each month unless it's a holiday and then I push them off a month. Community is enriched, I believe, by the art exhibits in a time where there's limited funding for art in school, um, that we're able to continue to function without state or federal funding. We're a private nonprofit organization, charitable organization of 501c3 and we support ourselves through membership and through fundraising. This gives more opportunity to artists than any gallery I've ever worked with. This gallery is not for profit, does not take a commission. So our local artists and artists, we get artists from Chicago and Indianapolis. This community is composed of a lot of transitional people and people who have moved from other places. And they're all pretty well educated and have made a basis for fine arts in this town that is very rare for a town this size. The Davis Strawn Art Gallery, I believe, lives up to the dreams of Phoebe Gates Strawn, um, her son David Strawn, by giving the Art Association her mansion, I believe has fulfilled her dream of having arts for the whole community. And not just the Jacksonville community, the whole surrounding community even into Springfield and Decatur, Quincy, Hannibal. We have a, a far reach where people do come and see. They are not just on the opening, but it's open throughout the month and it's always free. We are here to show your artwork. If you're an artist, <laughs> give me a call.